Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. In the spring of 1861, a group of slaves living in several plantations along Second Creek in Adams County, Mississippi, conspired to overthrow their masters and gain their freedom. The details of the insurrection are sketchy at best. Diary entries and letters of Natchez planters indicate that slaves planned to murder all the white males in Natchez. After the insurrection, the slaves were marched to meet President Lincoln. The plot was discovered and a committee composed of white planters was formed to interrogate the slaves, torturing them to elicit the response they desired. At least 27 slaves, perhaps as many as 40, were hanged and several more whipped to death. Natchez newspaper editors decided not to print any part of the story of the rebellion, fearing any news of a planned insurrection might lead to other slave conspiracies. The rebellion and resulting massacre of over 40 slaves might not have been discovered if Lemuel Connor, a white planter, had not recorded the testimony of the accused slaves. The discovery of Connor's transcript of the trial led historian Winthrop Jordan to write his award-winning book entitled Tumult in Silence at Second Creek and Inquire into a Civil War Slave Conspiracy. Nye Caston, a sixth grader at Morgantown College Prep Academy. This has been your Natchez History Minute.